guys, it's Queso Plans here and I'm finally getting around to setting up my new folder that I purchased off Amazon. Uh, before I do go ahead and show you this, um, what I wanted to do was just grab down <laughs> a little bit of a naughty purchase. Um, so when I was looking online, they didn't have any more of these gray ones. When I was looking, I was actually going to see if I could try and find a link for you guys. And um, I don't have any affiliation or anything with the company. I just wanted to show you what it was that I was using. And I saw they had one that was in this blush pink and it was $10 and it actually came with even more stuff than this one did. And I just thought for $10, I wasn't gonna leave it there. So um, again, I don't know how much they uh, are selling for or if they've sold out. Uh, this one actually comes with stickers. Um, so if I turn that around the right way, you've got uh, little envelopes and coffee and money and stuff like that. I'm not sure if I'll use those. Um, I don't have a paper planner, but we'll see. Maybe I could use them for like a savings challenge or something. I'm just gonna put those out of the shot. Um, it also came with these stickers. Now I've created my own. Um, this would have been actually helpful. So. Um, yeah, I, I thought this was good. It has like pets. I mean, I need more specific ones, but if you're just looking for a couple of envelopes, that may work for you. Um, it also came with these colored stickers and just like with the last ones, these, it's just too busy. So I wouldn't use those, although it's a beautiful color scheme. Um, and then lastly, just inside, uh, this one actually came with some little posty notes, which uh, my other folder didn't. Um, it has the same budget sheets because it's from the same same company. So I quite like these ones, actually. I was like, oh, they're kind of cool. Um, it actually has a lot of them. So I was like, I may use these uh, in this folder and then use the other ones I got with this folder in this one as well. Um, but it has these fancy ones as well. And I was just so impressed. I thought, wow, you get so much more stuff. This is awesome. So they have like lots of different colors and prints. So you get a massive amount of those, which I love. Uh, and then over here, you've got three more of these card holders. So if I need any spares, um, for example, like I haven't got my library card anywhere at the moment. I need to work out which one I'm using. I lost it, had to replace it for five bucks. So, you know, some of the reasons why I've been bleeding money, stupid little things like that. Um, and it also comes with another 12 of these uh, pouches, which I will be using for uh, sort of like savings challenges when I get to the point that I can save some money, not there yet. Uh, and then it also has those five folders that the other one came with as well as the little ruler. And of course at the back, it had a little pen holder. So it's a slightly different design. This one has one that you can put a notepad in like a longer one, uh, whereas my one uh, here, which I'm just gonna move again this out of the shot, um, at the back here, it has the two slots and the pen holder. So yeah, slightly different design, but I really liked it and I thought I could definitely use that. Um, so I'm just gonna show you where I'm up to so far. And I'm literally just transferring things from my wallet to this tonight. I just wanted to show you how I'm getting it set up. Um, I'm not gonna film myself going through putting the labels on all of these, cause that will take forever guys. And I'm sure you guys have seen people stick a label on a, uh, on a pouch. So um, essentially these are my two wallets that I have left till payday. Um, so I have one for groceries, which currently has a grand total of $20 in it. Um, so not much left and I don't get paid till next Tuesday. And the day that I'm filming this is Wednesday. <laughs> so yeah, gonna have to make that stretch. Uh, and then I also have $30 um, that I have put into Lewis's grooming because I'll need to put another 20 aside and that will pay for that for um, the week after. So that's the two lots of cash that I have left along with a little bit of change over here. Uh, the two dollars, I'm just going to put it all into the money box, guys. I don't need to keep the change on me. But moving forward uh, with the pouches for things like groceries and stuff like that, I will go ahead and pop the gold coins into a pouch. I can't remember what the two dollars is from. <laughs> I haven't been uh, set up with these little uh, tracker envelopes, so I'm not really sure where I'm at. Um, so this is all a learning process for me. Um, now, part of the thing that I have also done uh, already, and I'm just gonna pop this under here, I have put my driver's license in. Obviously, I've got it covered up for privacy. Um, I've gone ahead and put my two debit cards and my, what I'm calling my emergency fund card. And that's simply because right now I don't have any savings. Um, if I spend uh, more than $50, then uh, this will allow me to track it over four payments out of my own money, um, which is the account link to this card here. So that's basically what I'm doing for an emergency fund at the moment to pay for the things that I can't afford just yet. And I'm working it out as I go. Um, I also have my rewards cards for Woolworths and Coles. 
Um, and then over the back here, I have medical cards. So I have my private health insurance, my Medicare, which is like our government insurance where you can get bulk billed for some things. Sometimes they ask to see a card. These days, most of the time though, they just do it online, but just in case. Um, and then I have my donor card because if I do happen to be sort of brain dead and that sort of thing, I'm like, yeah, take the organs, give them to someone else if they're any good. So that's pretty much where that's at. They're just going to stay at the back of my wallet and the cash is going to sit in front of it as I work. So the next thing I'm going to do is just take you guys through, I'm just going to again, move this out the way because I don't have a lot of space that I'm working with and this is all very new to me. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you all of my labels. Um, so I do have one for self care and you can see the little comb and the scissors. <laughs> I was having fun with my label maker. And so self care is for my nails and it is also for my haircuts. Now nails are expensive. They're about $50 and I usually have to get them done every fortnight. I'm going to try and stretch it out a little longer. It's been a while since I've had them, but I do tend to have fast growing hair and nails, which is kind of a bugger. Um, but my haircuts are $15 and usually my hair dye, I do it myself because I have a short pixie cut. Uh, basically that um, comes out of my grocery budget and my hair dye is like $10, so it's not expensive. Um, I then have Pops Sops. Um, and this one is for Lewis's anxiety medication. He's on fluoxetine. Uh, and then I also give my Greyhound and Louie because of their ages being uh, seven and almost eight. Uh, basically they have uh, MSM powder, uh, which is like a white tasteless powder, which is to help their joints as they age. Uh, they're also on Foresight, again, for uh, arthritis and aging prevention, and they're on rosehip granules for a similar thing. Um, so the MSM powder and the rosehip granules were recommended by Pearl's chiropractor because um, she was raced and she does have old racing injuries that niggle her. Um, so that's, that's the main ones, along with uh, seaweed powder, which is good to help their teeth. Um, I still get their dental done every year. Greyhounds have notoriously bad teeth, but... Um, that's what that's about. So I'll be putting the money in there so I can purchase those. Um, I do have one here for petrol. Uh, this week I had to put extra funds into petrol because I have a foster at the moment and where I walk him, uh, it requires me to drive a lot further than I usually would. So I'm hoping that'll come down in price soon. <laughs> um, Pups grooming is for Pearl to get her nails clipped every three weeks. That seems to be the cycle that works best for her. She doesn't need washing and when she does, I can take her to the vet and have it done free under my vet care plan that I pay for. Lewis gets groomed every six weeks and that costs uh, $60. It just went up this year. She finally put up her prices, which is still way cheaper than the salons and stuff. I've checked it out. I have one here for appointments and this is medical, um, hence the little tag with the medical symbol there, if you can see that. Um, I also have one for pups treats uh, with little flowers on it. Um, and then there's a separate folder, which may seem a little bit overkill, but I have one for pups food. And the reason that I do that is because where I purchase their treats, they um, are purchased at the markets a lot of the time. And so the food is bought at the pet store. I just wanted to keep it separate so I knew what I was spending. I have one for groceries, uh, which you can see at my little slice I had trouble cutting, but that's just the backing paper there. Um, I've also got one for my medication. Now I am still on Ozempic and the first three months of the year I get a rebate. And then after that I have to pay full price, which is about $160. Uh, so that's not cheap. Um, I'm also on natural supplements for my anxiety. Um, oh no, anxiety, sorry, not anxiety. Ah. Um, for my ADHD, I'll get it out yet. Um, have previously had anxiety and depression, although that is actually going pretty well. So no, nothing for that. Um, so yeah, that's basically uh, my medication. Uh, there's also like B12, vitamin D, uh, allergy meds. Um, I also have a injection every 10 weeks for contraception and stuff. If that's an overshare, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, so there's lots of medication. Um, that is a huge portion of my budget. <laughs> um, I also have a buffer. Not butter, as some people often can think when these labels are made, it is a buffer. And this is just uh, in case I need to purchase something I haven't budgeted for. Uh, this next pay is a really tight one, so there won't be really anything going into this, I don't believe. Uh, but moving forward, my goal is just to put a little bit in it and build that up. Um, so not an emergency fund, just a, oops, I forgot to budget that because I've been working on my budget for over a week and I'm finally at the point where I've had a day where I haven't added something new, so I'm hoping I'm where I need to be. Uh, and then lastly, I have one for takeout, and this will be a very small one. Um, I do like to look at the McDonald's app and also the Hungry Jack's app, and sometimes you can get like a cheeseburger for $2, and I'm like, 
awesome. Um, or KFC, if they have the little sliders, because I've had weight loss surgery, guys, I try not to have too much in the way of junk food, but I do like to treat myself, but I like to be a cheapskate when I do it. So I definitely use the apps, and um, usually if it's less than $5, I'll consider it. Um, so that's where I'm at with those. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, take the labels, <laughs> take the pouches, and I'm literally just gonna sit here and do this. So rather than have you guys watch me do this uh, fast, I'm just gonna cut to when this is all completed and I'm putting it in my binder. All right, so I've gone ahead and finished putting all of my labels onto my pouches. Uh, so I have two that I do need to put some things in. Actually, no, make that three. Uh, so I need one for groceries, one for takeout, uh, and I also need one for grooming, which I've got here somewhere. There we go. Um, so that's that. Now, some of these will not need to stay uh, in this current wallet that I take everywhere with me. Um, that's the reason that I went ahead and I purchased this one because I thought, you know what? I'm gonna need somewhere to store things like the pup supplements and stuff like that. I mean, that's not something I need to take out with me. And truth be told, if I kept all of them with me all the time, I am most definitely going to take money from things I shouldn't and tell myself I'm gonna put it back later, which is what I do now, and it's probably why I've got myself into so much trouble. So, uh, when it comes to pups grooming, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that one uh, open. Oh, we got there, yeah, there we go. Um, and I'm just gonna take that out, put that aside. Um, so, pups grooming. I think I've actually put this sticker on the wrong side. I don't know whether I can get this off or I'm going to have to reprint it. Oh, it doesn't matter. That's okay. It's going to bug me, guys. I will eventually flip it over and put it on the right side, but that's okay. So I've got the pups grooming there. Um, I also have uh, takeout. Now, I don't have any money for takeout specifically. I mean, technically, I could. You know what? I'm just going to put the $2 coin in. There we go. Uh, so uh, what I did have, though, was a couple of uh, coffee... Um, types that I had in my Nespresso advent calendar, which I didn't realize came with a mug. And considering I was trying to be a minimalist and I was like, oh no, it's another mug. <laughs> and I just finished decluttering. And I literally right now I have like a Christmas mug. I have another mug uh, in case I have guests. And I, I literally have my travel mug, which I just use all the time. So I thought that was really funny. I just donated it. Um, but there were two coffee types that I thought would be good to try in the future. And I still haven't got around to doing that. At least I don't remember doing it. So they were in my wallet. So I'm just going to pop those in there for now. Um, oh, actually, and also there is a coffee card I found and I go to this cafe occasionally. I have a main one that I have a, a tab with um, just because that makes life so much easier for me. I don't go there every day, but um, I did realize that with this one, um, I'm only a couple of coffees away from a free one. I was like, well, I should at least do that, right? So <laughs> there was that. Um, and then uh, I also have uh, this for the car. And so I don't know if I actually have a category for car maintenance yet. I don't remember doing one. So what I'm gonna do is just pop that into my receipt folder. Cause again, I, this is only setting up me for things that I may carry with me or need to carry with me in the near future. There'll be other things. Um, but when I got my battery, it was running low. And so they actually replaced it for free. And so they've gone ahead and uh, the reason I kept it is because when I do have to replace it, which will be soon, I get 10% off. So I thought that was good. Um, so that's the um, bits of paper that I had. Um, and then lastly, I've just got groceries here. So I'll just open that one up and transfer. So you can see why I'm not using this, guys. It is hard to get the money out. It is ridiculous. So when you're standing there and you've got people behind you at a line in the supermarket, I'm like, no, this is just not working. Um, so I've got uh, the money to put in there as well. Close that up. Um, and then I do also have my trusty little uh, money bank here. And so the goal is just to save all of these silver coins. And I wasn't going to sit there and put them in one by one because for some people, the noise will drive them absolutely nuts. So, um, did get to show you in the last video. That's our 20 cent pieces, just if you didn't get to see those. Uh, and then these are our five cent pieces. So they're like the $2 dollar coin size, but thinner. So anyway, that's those. So I'm going to pop those in. 
and again, just count my change later, put it back into the bank and that's gonna go off my debts. Um, and then uh, lastly, what I also have is these cash trackers and it escapes me the name of the, the store that I bought them from yesterday, but I did finally work out how to cut them down. Um, I just have some like card stock. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and write out cards for the groceries, um, also for, I'm not gonna worry about takeout, it's got two bucks in it. <laughs> um, and also for uh, pups grooming. So that way I can just note down the date, uh, what category it is and what the balance is. So I can keep a track of the money coming in and out. And then when it gets full, I can go ahead and do a new one. So that's what that is for. Um, so when I do go ahead and actually get a pay and do this properly on payday for the first time. Um, I will have more of these envelopes made up uh, for other things. I think I probably do wanna get one for coffee, to be honest. Um, and I'll be able to show you both of my folders at that stage, cause I'll have them all, all set up. But I don't get paid for another week, guys. So there'll be a little bit of time between them. Um, the other thing I've also been doing is organizing my meal plan. So I've done the pups meal plan and I've just, one of the things I'm focusing on is how much I'm spending at the grocery store and how much I'm spending on the dogs, which is a ridiculous amount of money. And so what I thought I would do is just show you guys how I'm working out uh, basically like the cost of the, the meals that I'm making for them and how many serves and things like that that I'm getting, uh, just to give me an idea of how much I actually budget for, because that's something I'm finding really hard at the moment is I can list all of my expenses, but frequency is my biggest problem. Um, so just recently I bought some Foresight. It's a liquid gel that I give my dogs. And when I open it, I'll put the date on it. And then that way I'll be able to track how long it lasts. And then I'll be able to work out how often I need to buy it. Um, the problem is, is that pretty much all of my medications and all of the pups uh, supplements and food I'm only just starting to figure that out now. Um, so that's why I'm saying with this, it's definitely gonna be trial and error. There's gonna be mistakes made uh, when it comes to, you know, having to use my little, uh, I call it gold card, it's yellow technically, but when it comes to using this card, unfortunately, I feel like that's gonna happen more often than not because there are just so many things that I haven't prepped for. So this is definitely a journey. It's why I'm giving myself grace. Um, and I hope you guys have liked this video. I know it's a bit weird. It's not a fancy setup. There's no real cash stuffing going on at the moment, um, but I will be getting to that very soon. So that's where I'm at guys. Um, so I really hope that you have uh, enjoyed tonight's video and I will go ahead and I will catch up with you guys again soon. Bye for now.